Hey guys, Media Bottle Chris Tomer here. We've got a lot of weather coming over the next uh, five, seven, nine days here. Here are my bullet points three to four different storm systems through three, seven. Um, lots of wind with all this, good snow production, cold air in place. Um, and not to, not to leave out the northeast, you've got two different phases of snow coming, especially around three, four. Um, but you could see. Uh, one to two feet of accumulation in the northeast. So we'll talk all about this in the pattern coming up here. I want to show you what the jet stream is going to look like. So the pattern will remain active into early March. And even on the 7th, already tracking the next dip or trough, that area of low pressure will swing down from the Pacific Northwest and across the Intermountain West. So you're looking at low pressure anomalies across a lot of the West into 37, 38, 39, and 310. So we've got an extended period. And in some cases in this pattern, we're going to see um, a steady drip of snow, like let's just say the Tetons. You're going to get a few inches of new snow almost every single day in the Tetons, all the way through 37. This is going to be a really good pattern for the Intermountain West. In fact, let me show you how this plays out in time. Here's our forecast radar and satellite. And I've got this set. Here's Monday morning. Look at this, just streaming moisture in through all the ranges. 228 in the morning, 229, I mean, into 31. All of these days feature, and there goes an Albuquerque low, sweeps away on 32. Here comes the next low hitting the Pacific Northwest, sends snow into the interior. Very active pattern. Um, like I said, just a steady diet of new snow for a lot of resorts almost every single day. All right, let's talk about um, some snow totals here. So the rest of today through the 28th, big time snow in California, 20, 30, 40, 50 inches of snow through the 28th, and then of course more after that. Uh, but look at the numbers up there in the Tetons and Wasatch, and you're looking at uh, like 6 to 12, um, almost a couple of feet there for the Wasatch, and a little bit of snow in Colorado as well. The second period will be bigger, um, and here it is. This is going to be 3-1 through 3-7. You're looking at potentially two to three additional storm systems during this period. Another 20 to 30 inches in the Sierra. Another one to two feet for the Wasatch. Another foot at least for the Tetons. Um, great snow for Idaho. And look at Washington and Oregon State. One to two feet on the way. Colorado, the western slope in southwest Colorado will get the most. And really good numbers for northern New Mexico during this period. Looks like almost one to two feet on the way. Love seeing that. All right, a couple of specialty maps here. Here's the Wasatch. Um, outstanding numbers of just about three feet on the way for Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons between 227 and 37. So this is going to be a big period there with just a steady diet of snow. And, and that goes for the Tetons as well. You're looking at probably a couple of feet up there in the Tetons during the same period. Southern Colorado. Um, a little less on the north side of the San Juans, but more on the south and in the heart of the San Juans through Telluride Purgatory down into Wolf Creek. And let's take a look at the northeast. Again, two phases of snow, one early and then another. Probably the biggest phase would be right around 3-4, um, one to two feet possible. I mean, look at even some 30-inch amounts around Washington, Mount Washington, and maybe even Mount Snow and Hunter Mountain if this plays out um, as forecast. So... That looks awesome. All right, guys, always appreciate you tuning in here. This was a quick afternoon update. Take care. Have a great day.